Hola, buenos días, sentados, por favor. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is gonna be bothering me, but I wanna be in the center. Yenis, can you stop showing me things? <laughs> Not funny. Okay, kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys, as you probably saw in the title, my July favorites. My first video ever on this channel was my January favorites and I'm kind of nostalgic so I thought why not film another one. It's been quite a while, probably like six months. Okay. So yeah, I'm coming back this month with a few of my favorite products that I've been using. I have a few cosmetic stuff, I have clothes, I have random stuff. I'll just be showing you guys and yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with the cosmetic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I started using actually last month in June is this Clarence daily energizer cream gel i just put on my face and it smells really really good <laughs> it really does smell really good it smells like peach and fruit and it just puts you in a good mood in the morning and it's really good for dry skin i know those will have it in just a cream instead of a cream gel but i just like the texture of the cream gel better and even though it doesn't go into the skin immediately and i can feel it like on my skin for like five to ten minutes afterwards. I feel like it really nourishes it, so that's really good. That's what I need. The second thing I have in this category, and it's probably my favorite of all the favorites, and it's this nourishing dry oil by Guerlain. It's called Terracotta, and what I really like about it is that it's a dry oil, so it doesn't actually make your skin feel oily after you put it on. I just put a little bit and just my skin is not oily at all. I just don't like the feeling of having my skin really moisturized, almost wet, so I really like this. The only thing I don't like about oils is that the bottle actually gets oily. So now I have it all over my fingers. It's originally for women, I think. It was in a women's section at Sephora, but the smell, you guys, it's, I think, the best smell I've ever smelled in my entire life. It smells like the sun, like monoi, is that a thing? It smells like everything you want to smell like in the summer and reminds you of palm trees and the beach and vacation. Basically, it smells like the best thing in the world, so we should, we should try it out. <laughs> and the smell is also super strong, so when I put this on, I usually don't put perfume on or anything. I just leave it on my skin, usually put like a few drops here and there and it's just good for the day. And another thing that smells really good is this new fragrance I got by Dior. They have a new formula and what I really really like about it, besides the smell, because it smells really good, but I feel like a lot of guys have this perfume out there, but it's fine. But they came out with a new spray, so you know how a normal perfume would just spray it and it would like come out with like drops. This one, when you spray it, wait, I'm gonna try. It's like an actual spray. So the next category of stuff I have will be about fashion, clothes, and my favorite items that I've found this month and that I've been wearing a lot. The first thing is shorts. I used to never wear shorts, I didn't like shorts, I didn't like the way I looked in shorts and I didn't find any that I really really liked and wanted to wear. I went to Zara at the beginning of the month and I found these shorts. I really liked them so I got them in white and black. What I really really like about them is the fabric. It's not a jean short. It looks kind of thick so when you wear it, it's kind of straight and it doesn't look messy at all. But then it's also really, really thin and it lets your skin breathe and it's not too warm for the summer. I've been to parties with them, I've been out to eat, I've been working out with them. Honestly, they do everything and they look really, really good. The second item I got, and it just came in yesterday and I'm really excited about them, 
is this pair of Adidas sneakers. So they're in beige suede. Uh, they're really clean right now because I haven't even worn them. I just tried them on yesterday. And the reason I was super excited is because I've been looking for beige or tan or nude sneakers for I think two years, but I've never found a pair of sneakers that I really wanted or every time I found one the beige just wasn't the right shade or I didn't like them or they didn't have my size. Honestly, I struggled to find these ones and I just randomly found them on this website called Stylebop and I couldn't find them anywhere else online. I feel like there's not enough beige or nude sneakers out there, especially for guys. And these ones look amazing. So I'll put the link in the description box down below if you guys want to check them out and probably get them. They're on sale right now. I hope they will still be there when I post this video, but I'll link you guys. The third thing I got, the third thing I got <laughs> in this category are watches. Is watches? Or I've been working with Daniel Wellington for quite a while now, probably more than a year. And the reason I started working with them is because I emailed them because I found their watches really nice and really beautiful. I just got these two watches in the mail a few weeks ago. I wrote an article on my blog about this one. I don't know if you've checked it out yet. If not, I'll put the link in the description box. The reason I wrote about it is because when I posted this online, some people were telling me, it's a woman's watch, not a guy's watch. And I was like, okay. The only thing that makes it a woman's watch is the size of the watch itself. See how it's much smaller? I really wanted an all silver watch and this one looked pretty good. I don't think it looks feminine, I think it looks just amazing and it goes with every outfit whenever I'm wearing like all black and I have silver jewelry or when I'm wearing all white and it just like looks so light that it could look white. And then the black one is much more classic. It's just an old black watch with silver details. The bracelet is like fabric. If you want to check their website out or if you've been looking for a watch, I have a discount code for you guys for 15% off your purchase. You just go on their website and at checkout, you put in the code NOTAYEB. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Okay, and finally, the last item in this fashion category. It's like, I feel like you're not ready. I don't know if you deserve to see it, if I should wait a little bit more. It's just... <laughs> I'll let you guys appreciate and then I'll talk. Isn't it amazing? So this, guys, is a... Do you know how to pronounce this? <laughs> this is a D squared. D squared? This is a D squared backpack it's called utility or military backpack i don't remember i don't recall i don't recall What's the amount you paid i don't recall was it 79 dollars? i don't recall what was the i time? don't recall why do i have these moments where i just remember something from a movie a tv show or a song and i just have to do it so it's a beige send or whatever you want to call this color backpack it has so many pockets you don't even have enough stuff to put in there but it's really beautiful so why i got this is basically i'm going to be traveling quite a lot in the next six months and my backpack just wasn't going to make it and i've been using it for two years i bought it on asos and it was a really good backpack for school it was pretty cheap but the quality wasn't amazing and if you're traveling a lot and you need to just stuff a lot of stuff Huh? And if you need to put a lot of stuff in your backpack, then it's just not going to make it. I've honestly been wearing it around the house. Because I love it. Yeah, I think this is going to be my favorite item of the year. So yeah, that's it for this second category. Now I'm going to go on to the more random objects. The first thing I have is a case 
for my iPhone and it looks like this. It's basically a translucent phone case. It's plastic, hard plastic, and it has white palm leaves on there. Basically my favorite thing in the world. White and palm trees. Amazing, right? I feel like I'm not excited enough for this. Do you guys understand? Like, it's white, but when you put the black phone, like, the contrast, and I found it on this website called Casetify. They have, like, hundreds, thousands of different phone cases. The thing I did, I just typed in palm tree and looked up everything they had until I found this one, and I was just in love, so I got it. Every time I get a new phone, I buy, like, 10 to 15 phone cases, and I change phone cases every day or two. <laughs> Another of my favorites, and it still has to do with palm trees, and it's these little portable batteries that I got from Aku. So Aku is a French startup that is selling these little batteries online. I don't know if you guys can see how small and thin these are. I'll just put it next to my phone. So this is a 7 Plus, and this is what the battery is like. It's like smaller than the phone, and it's also really, really thin. It's like the same. I don't know the word. <laughs> so when you go on their website, you choose the size S or M, and then there's like plenty of designs that they have already on there. So this one is one of these designs that they have. I think it looks really good. And they also have a feature where you can customize your Aku with a picture or text or anything you want. So I had this picture that I took in Los Angeles of a palm leaf shadow so I was like why not put it on there and then on the other side I have my logo you probably can't see it yes you can what well, it says no tie up it's just all white and yeah so how these things work is that you have a little thing here where you can plug it in to charge it once it's charged you just put this in your pocket and whenever you're out of battery on your phone you just take this out of here they have a micro USB to charge anything and then if you have an iPhone and you want to charge it there's this little adapter right there you plug it in take it out and you can charge your iPhone I was just blown let me do it again for you guys you plug it in take it out I've been taking these around with me a lot this past month each one of these adds 200% of batteries to your iPhone so that's amazing you're basically never gonna run out of battery again and they're so thin so light I just love when I find a product and I really enjoy it you know so I also decided to partner up with Aku and they gave me a coupon code for you guys too it's 15% off on their website if you use the code no type again I'll put it around somewhere so these were all the products that I had for you guys this month I hope you liked some of them, maybe you want to try them out, so don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite product was for this month, and I just hope you enjoy watching this video, so let me know if you have any video idea or request things that you want me to film in the next few weeks, and I will see you guys next week for a new video, hopefully. <laughs> Bye.